I went to buy my pen's refill and it was costing me 7 rupees. I had two notes of 10 rupees each and two coins of 1 rupees each in my pocket, which looked somewhat like this. So, I gave one note of rupees 10 to the shopkeeper, but he asked me to give 7 rupees as a change. I have only two coins of 1 rupees each. Then how would I give him 7 rupees as a change? What I would have done? Yes, with the shopkeeper, I exchanged one note of 10 rupees for one coin of 5 rupees and five coins of 1 rupees each. So that now I have 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 coins of 1 rupees each. So that now I have 22 rupees in the form of 1 note of 10 rupees, 1 coin of rupees 5 and 2 plus 5 is equal to 7 coins of 1 rupees each equal to 12 rupees in the form of 12 coins of 1 rupees each. Then out of these 12 coins of 1 rupees each, I gave 7 coins and money left with me was 22 minus 7 is equal to 15 rupees. So, as I had change in the form of 2 coins of 1 rupees each and had to give 7 rupees each, it was not possible. That means, I couldn't subtract 7 from 2. Then, I converted the note of 10 rupees into a change of 10 coins of 1 rupees each. So that, now I have 10 plus 2 is equal to 12 coins of 1 rupees each from which I will be able to pay 7 rupees in the form of 7 coins of 1 rupees each. This process of converting 1 note of 10 rupees or 1 tens into change of 10 coins of 1 rupee each is called as borrowing as units place digit has borrowed 1 tens or rupees 10 from the tens place digit as shown below. Let us subtract 615 from 327 you cannot subtract 7 from 5 borrow 1 from 10's place that is borrow 10 so you have 15 minus 7 you have to subtract 1 from the 10's place as you have borrowed 1 from it we cannot subtract 2 from 0 so borrow 1 from 100's place so, we have 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. We have borrowed 1 from 100's place. So, 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 and 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. So, 615 minus 327 is equal to 288. We can observe that in the subtraction, following operation repeats itself. Consider the digits in the units, tens, hundreds, thousands place. We have to subtract digit 2 from digit 1. If digit 1 is greater than digit 2, subtract directly and you get the digit in the subtraction. If digit 1 is less than digit 2, then borrow 1 from the place to the left of digit 1. If digit 1 is in tens place, then from hundreds place. Now, 10 plus digit 1 is greater than digit 2. Subtract. You get the digit in the subtraction. By repeating the process, we move one place ahead to the left. In the example above, in the hundreds place, we subtract 3 from 5. Whereas, in the units place, digit 1, 5 is less than digit 2, 7. So, borrowed 1 from 10's place and subtracted 7 from 15 to get 8. Having learned the repetitive process of subtraction and revision of 3 digit division, subtraction of 5 digit or 6 digit numbers is easy. Taking a borrowed number many a times one after the other in a subtraction may be a bit tiresome. Also, 
we need to subtract from 0 sometimes. Now in the next example, we will practice both these processes in detail. Okay? Let's take another example. Say 76,051 minus 27,978. Step 1. We cannot subtract 8 from 1. We borrowed 1 from 10's place. We get 11 for 1. Subtraction is 3. Units place of the difference is 3. We have completed our procedure for units place. We will now repeat the same procedure for 10's place. Step 2. We have to subtract 7 from 4. It is not possible, so we need to borrow 1 from 100th place. However, we have a 0 in the 100th place of the first number. So, we add 1 to the 100th place of second number. So, it becomes 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. We have now got the borrow for the subtraction of 4 minus 7 using it. 14 minus 7 is equal to 7. In the difference, 10's place is 7. Now, step 3. We now have to subtract 10 from 0. Again, not possible. So, we will borrow a 1 from 1000's place of the first number. We get 6 minus 1 there. And in the 100's place, 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. That is the 100th place of the difference. Step 4. At the 1000th place in the first number, we have 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. 1 which was borrowed to the 100th place is now subtracted from 6. We cannot subtract 7 from 5. So, we borrow 1 from 10,000th place. We have 15 minus 7 is equal to 8. So, we get 8 in the thousands place of the difference. Step 5. We have 7 minus 1. 1 that is borrowed to thousands place. Which is 6 in the ten thousands place. Finally, we have 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. Thus, 4 is in the ten thousands place in the difference. I use the same method to subtract a 6 digit number from another 6 digit number. That is 7,96,293 minus 5,9867 and got the following answer. Just check whether you also found the same answer. If you know the pairs that make up 10, for example 1 plus 9, 2 plus 8, 3 plus 7, 4 plus 6, 5 plus 5, then subtraction becomes easier as you can quickly say 11 minus 3 is equal to 8 because 10 minus 3 is equal to 7. Keep trying newer quick methods. What did we learn? When we subtract any number from a bigger number, the difference we get is always less than the original number. And we can get the original number by adding the smaller number to the difference we got. We learned the concept of subtraction of a single digit number from two digit number and then by using the same method, we subtracted a six digit number from a bigger number. We also learned the concept of borrow. We have seen that for addition of two numbers, we write them in expanded form and then perform the subtraction using borrow wherever required. We have also learned how to give a cross check. The process of subtraction is a repetitive process. If the digit in the number 1 in a place is greater than the digit in number 2 at the same place, then simply subtract. If the digit in number 1 is less than the digit in number 2, then borrow 1 from the left place. Add 10 to the smaller digit in number 1. Now, subtract single digit from two digit number. Exercise Let's try something interesting now. Let's find out the missing digits in the subtraction of a 7 digit number from another 7 digit number. 